Evening po. So, uh, it's Abby once again. So, welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight, dahil gabi po dito sa Canada, um, I will do a walkthrough uh, tutorial kung paano po mag-register sa isang platform. So, yan po ay isa sa mga recommended platforms ko, exchange platforms ko. Uh, from our last session ng ating crypto class last Sunday, the other Sunday, yes, the other Sunday. So, ayan, atin pong pag-aralan para po mas madali po nating ma-link ang ating mga bank accounts. So, I have recommended some uh, uh, platforms na kung saan mas madali po natin siyang may adapt may connect sa ating mga um bank accounts dito sa Canada. I call those our our primary uh, wallets or exchange platforms na atin pong gagamitin. So please allow me to share my screen. Ayan. So first step that I should do, sorry about that noise. My dog is just jumping around. So yeah. Bago po tayo magsimula, I will... Uh, Yan, I will create a new tab dito po. Yan, new tab. And then I will go and copy the link. Okay, so because I I, I, I kind of like uh, sharing my link to anyone who wants to use them or to use it, although hindi po siya obligado, no? But you can uh, use my link. You, you, if you prefer not to use it, that's fine. Okay lang po sa akin. But if you used to, if you decide to use it, then parang nilibre mo po ako ng isang tasang kapi sa Tim Hortons. Ayan lang po. So, ayan, I will go and uh, look for that uh, link first. Okay. And, uh, ayan, sorry po. I have, I, I forgot to go and look for that. Go and look for it first. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Copy link. Now I'll get back to where I was. Yeah, but first I think I... I have turned off my camera sharing. Okay. So here. <clears throat> so I'll get back to that email. All right. To that tab, I mean, that where I was. So here. I will paste the link that I've copied with my referral links onto it. So first, okay. I hope you can see my window, my, uh, my dashboard. So here I have... I will just have to click get started or sign in or maybe just get, get started, okay? So just get started. And then, ayan, susunod, I sign up. Dahil wala pa po tayong mga accounts. So if you are new to this, no? Bago pa ka pa lang, mag, start ka pa lang mag-create ng inyong mga exchange platforms or wallets, then you can go ahead and sign up. Ayan, sign up. And then you will go and put your information. So at this point, I'm gonna be using my daughter's um, information because I'll, I basically, I'm gonna be creating an account for her. So ayan, go ahead. First step is you go and select your username, type it in here. So let me just show you that part one more time because I'm turning off my uh, share screen so that uh, all the information that I'm gonna enter here will be um, uh, confidential or protected okay so here there will be a form up upon uh clicking on that uh getting started or get started sign up you will get you will be brought into this um sign up for coin square coin square form so in po in in pong if you fill up your preferred 
username and then you will also enter your email here at saka yung preferred password mo okay choose a very very secure password ayan and confirm your password here and then automatic dahil po ginamit natin ang link na kinopya ko kanina let's say for example i i send it to you through um messenger ayan automatic po siyang nag-fill up diyan and then of course you have to hit which country you are in which is Canada and I have read and accept the terms and conditions and privacy policy and then you have to confirm that you're not a robot by doing ticking mark this CAPTCHA and then register so it's just as simple as that so let me do that okay and so I will go and put username and then email address would be Okay, so I'm now at the country where I'm at and I have read and accepted the terms and condition and I will click the CAPTCHA, confirm by clicking those uh, pictures that's been asked. So tractors, it says verify, okay? So after you fill up the, the entire form, you will hit that word register okay so yan yan na po naka pag sign up na po tayo ayan nakita niyo na po and sabi diyan please confirm your email before logging in so i will go and confirm okay once you see by the way once you see po itong window, pop-out window na ito. Pop-up window na ito, ganito. Uh, I don't really think it's a good idea to be always saving automatically your password dito sa mga devices. Because the pickle is, pagka may nangyaring, uh, limbawa, nanakaw po yung device ninyo, they can easily get into your account. And then nakuha na po. So I always hit never. Okay? Hindi ko po siya sinisave automatically. So I'll go and click that one and i'll go and verify by the way you can see this this account and uh, uh, anyhow this is already been uh, set up with the or uh, connected to this uh, 2fa verification so here i'll go and confirm coin square confirm email address and then i'll go back to the main form so it says verify so it will bring you once you hit the the confirm confirmation email then it will bring you to this uh, uh, welcome window it says welcome to coin square we're glad you're here just a few more steps before you start trading so you hit get started we already did that but you can see here okay the first step would be the registration and then it's going to be followed by the phone number so first Okay, let's try to do this. So you, as you can see, this is an unverified account. Okay, so this is an unverified account it means you cannot you cannot be allowed to uh, do any trading or transactions yet unless you are verified. So first, hit verification here at the at the right top corner of your account. You will see your verifications once you hit your your account username and then. Just hit this get started. Okay, so here is a mobile phone authenticator. Ayan po. So inaas po niya ngayon na i-enter po natin ang ating account user. I mean yung mobile number. So I'll turn that off again. And then I'll go and fill this up. I'll fill up my phone number. Okay, and then you will see after you fill up the phone number, you will see a text me at the very bottom. Kulay blue po siya. So click on that, text me, and then 
I will wait for a uh, phone verification code na sinan po sa aking cellphone. And then, ayan, I've got 388. Ayan, ayan po ating enter dito sa ibaba. So, enter verification which is 388-58. So, I've got five digits. And then, at the bottom, you will see uh, save and continue. Hit that one. Ayan, pindutin nyo lang po. And then, here, I gotta share my screen one more time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have to turn off because basically I'm. I wanna. I don't wanna share my my phone number and stuff. So here, all about you. So the next process is to help us ensure we know everyone on our platform. Please fill out the form below, and we never share your information with anyone and only use it to the registration process. So identify, identity. I mean, so your you gotta fill up your first name, your last name. Okay, uh, by the way, pag nagpipil up po tayo ng first name, pagka ang document po ninyo, it includes your sir, uh, your middle name. I mean, let's say, for example, Abaya in your middle name, then your last name, you have to include that in your uh, I, uh, first name window or, or uh, bar. Okay? So, include nyo po yung, apel, eh, yung middle name po ninyo. Hindi lang po middle initial, kundi middle name. Kung ano po yung nandun sa passport, nandun sa na government issued documents po ninyo, you have to include po. Okay? Kung mayroon po siyang middle name, please include po. So, here, okay, I will fill up my the first name of my daughter because I'm creating this uh, account for her and then her birth year and then birth month and then the day of her uh, natal so her her uh, her birthday okay and then next when next slot you have a security question so you will set up your own security question and then answer all right and then Next part will be your address. Search for your address. So, yan, you fill up this form. And then a street number, street name, unit number, Canada, and then your postal code, the city where you are in or your ad, and then your occupation. Okay, so select the employment category that you have or the employment details here in this window. And then I consent to having. So, then once you fill up the entire form, you will see save and continue button will turn blue, okay? So after that, you will be able to go to the next level, okay? So I will go ahead and fill that up, okay? On a window that you cannot see. So I will go. Ayan, pinifill up an po po ang form. All right, so it says security question, just like what is the name of the person for a uh, first name of a person you first guessed? Oh, uh, diba? What is the last name of the best teacher you had? So I'll put here, or I can probably look for another one that's easier to remember. Ayan. Okay, and then you go ahead and fill up yung security uh, answer. Okay, and then I'm at that window ready na kung saan nandun po yung address. Okay. Ayan. Sometimes uh, to make things easier, ano, may nag a po auto fill up. So, i-click nyo lang po if it's safe. Okay. So, ayan, uh, it will ask you for your occupation. So, you go ahead. If you're working, for example, in a food service or tourism or hospitality, so you pick that up and <laughs> you pick that one, I mean. And then if you are, yeah, so it will also ask you for your employment details, just like your position. 
Just like that. Okay, so lagay nyo lang po dyan kung ikaw po ay cook sa isang restaurant. Just like that. Then once you fill up, the entire form a save and continue button will turn blue as I've said. Ayan. Okay na po siya. And then let me go back to sharing with you again. So share my screen para makita nyo po yung susunod na window. Ano po itsura. So once na hit nyo po yung save and agree yung parang gano'n no document it will bring you to your document center in order to verify your identity and keep your account secure please upload the required documents to support your identity verification we never share your information with anyone and your information is used to verification purposes only why do i need to upload these documents as a registered money service Uh, services business with FinTrack. Okay, ang FinTrack po ang siyang nagre-regulate ng mga lahat ng businesses sa Canada uh, or any in, in, in any country. Lahat po ng related sa business na, na related sa pera. No? Halimbawa, yung mga remittances, yung mga, mga uh, padalahan, yung mga ganyan, o kaya naman yung mga... Uh, small business loans, yung mga ganon, then yan po, nire-regulate po siya ng Fintra. Okay, CoinSquare is required to collect certain information such as your name, address, and date of birth uh, to satisfy regulatory requirements. Okay, so government issued ID, so I will probably use her uh, driver's license. And then I will go and look for that. So I found her driver's license here. Open that up. So go ahead and upload. Now it says here, acceptable documents are driver's license, national ID, identity card, or passport. So as so susunod, upload the back of your ID. So kailanganin din po yung likod. So yan, I'll go look for the back of license. Ayan, i-upload po natin. And then it says, please restrict files to less than 3.5 millimeters. So I don't know kung papayag po yun, but parang hindi siya. So uh, uh, anyway, nag-alert lang po siya. So wala naman pong sinabing hindi accepted yung ano. So next one is proof of address. So I usually uh, use yung mga Now, water bills, electricity, internet cable, not internet cable kasi online yun, di ko na po piniprint. So anyway, I can use uh, bank statement if it has as an option. Parang meron. Okay, I will go. Yes, there is a bank statement. I-click nyo lang po dito, no? And this is spot. And then all the options will come out. Although, hindi po na-mention dito. See, it says accepted. Utilities, water, electricity, internet cable, cell phone bill. But pag clinic nyo po dito, bank account statements can come out. So ayan. And then select upload. Hanapin ko po ulit yung prepare ko na pong uh, mga documents na yon. Okay, so bank state. So take note on this uh, requirement, no bank statement with your proof of address. Kailangan po it's not uh, later than three months. Kasi madidecline po pagka later than three months po yung inyong i-upload na document. So ayan, close what is it says. All right, so ayan, verified. What? What? It says verified right away. Na-verify po siya. God, no? Na, that's quick. That's so, super quick, no? Ang, ang bilis-bilis na na-verify. Na Ayan, pwede na po siyang mag-trading. Okay? Mag-trading ng kahit ano. So, ano po ang laman ng ating account? Ang ating dashboard, i-click nyo lang po dyan. Welcome to CoinSquare News site. Ayan, we're so happy you're here. Please take a moment to learn about your new dashboard by clicking next. Okay, ayan, dito nyo po makikita later on kung magkano po yung inyong uh, nilagay pong pera ninyo dyan. If it's in kanil dyan. O kaya naman, pagka in-exchange nyo po into Uh, cryptocurrency, for example, nag-load po kayo ng cryptocurrency dito, it will also come out. Once you click here on wealth and then sign in, 
it will bring you po kung ano po yung mga assets, assets ninyo. So right now, it's asking you to fund account. So paano po? Then you can also uh, go to my channel later on. I will show you on how to fund this account. Okay? So ayan. Hope uh, this will help you through, okay? In getting verified, it's super, super duper, duper easy, no? Ang bilis-bilis pong ma-verify dyan. As long as you are meeting the requirements that they are asking for, okay? So, ayan po, fund account. We will do that later. And I hope this will help you through. Thank you so much for watching.